and welcome back to The Calm. Today we are out on the street again. Uh, this time I'm going to give you a little glimpse into one of Daijan's more or less entertainment districts. This one is underneath what is referred to as the Daijan Sky Bridge. You can see it uh, above a little bit. Just a big structure, makes it kind of easier to find the place. Um, you may see that there are LED panels down um, underneath it. Starting about 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., depending on the season, they do shows up there. And I had footage of one, but it was even more nausea-inducing than this. Also, the flashes probably would have given someone a seizure, so I opted not to use it. Sorry about that. Maybe next time I'll be able to have something a little bit more stable to show you what it looks like. But you can probably guess. It's, it's kind of like a light show, kind of like a music video up there. So this district tends to specialize kind of in the interest of teenagers because this one, really both of the entertainment districts, and I'll get around to showing off the other one someday, uh, are located right at like the intersection of several universities. So this is where the students go on their weekend uh, breaks. So you will see a lot of cafes, uh, restaurants. They have these weird little like photo uh, opportunity places. Mostly the girls go to those. A uh, bunch of arcades. Uh, you see a lot of things being sold just right out on the street. Uh, one thing you did miss that, again, uh, this was uh, shot a little bit later, but earlier in the day there was a protest here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the protest was for. I looked at the signs. I got some pictures, so maybe someone can help me on that later, but I gather it was probably something related to Ukraine. I don't think the people protesting were big fans of NATO. So there's that, but we missed that, so apologies. So coming up in just a little bit, we will jump ahead a few hours and take a look at what the area around the Sky Bridge looks like at night, because when you move outside of this central area, again, this is kind of for the, the students, for teens, early 20s, move outside of this and we've gotten a little bit more, a little bit of an older uh, kind of clientele uh, a little bit more business oriented. So this is a couple blocks away. You'll notice quite a few bars through here. Uh, bars, I'm not entirely sure what the consensus on bars is in Korea. In China, they're actually considered a little bit shady, but there are a few of them. They're pretty basic places. I think they're probably uh, the kind of locations you'd bring, again, someone who is like a potential business partner. Uh, you'll also see a lot of outdoor dining. This is another thing that Korea has in common with China. Uh, people eat on uh, balmy nights, and this was a pretty warm one, uh, first kind of warm night we'd had in a while. A lot of people outside eating and really just walking around. And we're going to finish this by looking at a stage where, unfortunately, there's nothing going on right now. Again, maybe in the future we'll get to see something over there. But for now, I am going to sign off. So if you would like to see more of the city, remember to subscribe on your way out the door. Thank you.